Hey guys, it's Mish, and today I wanted to share a paper that may be my new favorite study because I found it about an hour ago and I immediately had to make a video on it because I was so amazed by its results and the fact that I hadn't seen it before. So this study is one of the largest I have come across. It was done on 175,000 people from two very famous studies. The first was one on nurses and another one was on male professionals, so like veterinarians, doctors, podiatrists, optometrists. So these are all done on healthcare professionals, so presumably people who know how to take care of themselves for the most part. And they were followed for 20 to 25 years and given dietary assessments every couple of years so that they were able to determine what these people's diets consisted of. And then they recorded any and all deaths that happened. And so they were able to record 13,000 deaths over the course of those 25 years. And they looked for relationships between how low carb their diets were and how likely they were to die of various causes. And what they found was pretty astounding. And I'm shocked that we don't already all know about this study. Because the lowest carb people were 1.5 times more likely to die of all causes than the highest carb people. And this was a very significant effect, which means it was not just due to chance. The highest carb group ate about 60% carbs on average, 15% protein, and 25% fat. Whereas the low carb group ate about 35% carbs, 25% protein, and 40% fat. That's a lot of fat. However, the low carb group in this study was not even as low carb as your average keto dieter. So your keto dieter eats less than 20% carbs for sure. So the progression of risk from a high carb diet to a low carb diet was pretty smooth where the highest carb people had the lowest risk of death and the slightly less high carb people had a slightly higher risk of death and then as you went the lower the carbs the higher the risk of death. I'll put up a nice graph so you can see that the higher carb you eat or at least in this study, the high, higher carbs they ate, the less likely they were to die over these 25 years. And for the breakdown of cause of death, the lowest carb group was about 1.5 times more likely to die of cancer and 1.3 times more likely to die of heart disease. And interestingly, these results were stronger for men than for women. And in the pooled sample of both men and women, there was a really strong effect for animal-based low-carb diets versus vegetable-based low-carb diets. And I love that they did this analysis because, of course, I am most concerned with animal products versus vegetables rather than just high-carb versus low-carb, personally. And so even though the low-carb group overall was way more likely to die of all causes, when you broke it down into animal-based and vegetable-based, animal-based low-carb increased your risk of death by a lot, whereas vegetable-based low-carb actually reduced your risk of death of all causes by 15%. So the fact that we still get a pooled effect of low carb killing you is pretty astounding considering the vegetable people were actually not dying as much. So another way to put it is that eating a lot of animal products was so deadly that it actually counteracted the people who were eating a lot of vegetables that like reduced their risk of death. So overall, low carb increased people's risk of death, particularly in cardiovascular disease and a lot of different types of cancer. But if you ate a lot of animal products, you were way more likely to die, whereas if you ate a lot of vegetable products, you were actually less likely to die. So, everyone saying that sugar and carbs are killing people seem to be missing the fact that it might in fact be fat and protein, especially animal products, in fact just animal products, is what is probably killing us. And I feel this study has a lot of implications for the direction the fitness industry is heading and the diet industry, which I'm always talking about because <laughs> They are really just purveyors of misinformation. So people who are saying that low-carb diets cure all these problems and reduce your risk of death don't realize that the reason that risk of death is reduced is because of weight loss. But overall, low-carb diets actually increase your risk of dying, it seems. So the reason that this risk of dying is masked is because people on low-carb diets do often lose weight because ketosis makes you sick and you lose a lot of weight initially from depleting your glycogen stores when you stop eating carbs. And so what you see is people losing weight but not being as healthy as they could be if they had lost weight through a healthier way like a low-fat diet, which is what the American Heart Association has been recommending for years and still stands by. So if you want to lose weight in a way that won't kill you and will give you a lot of health benefits, I highly recommend, and so does the American Heart Association, that you adopt a low-fat diet High in vegetables, low in animal protein. In fact, the less animal foods, the better, is what seems to be the case, and I have a lot more studies supporting that. 
And yeah, so just cut out animal products if you want optimal health according to this really well done study. And for those of you who should rightly question the fact that it's all correlational and longitudinal, so luckily it cuts out some of the correlational problems, they did a lot of corrections. So they did a very solid statistical analysis in that they corrected for alcohol and smoking and number of doctor visits that could result in it seeing like a higher death rate or disease rate. And so they did a lot of corrections to really make this the best possible correlational and longitudinal study they could do. And yeah, solid science from my point of view. So I hope this was helpful or interesting to you and may steer you away from a low carb diet based on animal sources. And if you do decide to do a low carb diet, make it on vegetables. Thanks so much for watching and please share and subscribe to see more videos. I'd really appreciate it.